Hi, on another video uh, where we installed monster valves uh, in a different set of wheels on our KMCs, we were on a bench and we didn't have our tires mounted to it. Um, and uh, But uh, what we wanted to show you on this set of wheels is you, you don't have to take the have the tires off the wheels. You can actually mount uh, these monster valves with the tires uh, on the wheels. We um, have been studying a little bit here where we were going to mount it and uh, I in initially intended to put it up on this landing and that's how I put it, uh, that's, that's where I mounted it on our um, uh, other race lines that we have on our JK and it fit really well. But on this one it's going to be a little tight. Um, that surface I want to put, I want to drill and mount or screw in per perpendicular to the threads and in this I have to tilt it out. Uh, that, so it's, it's, it's kind of like this. I've got a gap back there. And so that's not going to work very well. Um, I know that, that uh, one of our dealers had mounted monster valves into monster wheels. And uh, so we took a look at his and he simply mounted it right there. And so that's what we're going to do on this set of wheels. We're going to mount it to the rim. We just have just enough room on the rim part of this here. A uh, nice flat surface perfect um, and uh, so what we were doing too then after that is looking at um, how we were going to drill and so we I do a lot of prep work before um, I start and I want to make sure that everything's gonna work I have all my tools laid out I have my oil punches what hammer uh, all my tap and, and pro proper parts um, when I was doing this, I was checking the angle of the of the drill that I'd have to drill into that surface. And again, I want it perpendicular to this surface. But I'm hitting, my drill's hitting the cap, the hub cap. So we're going to have to uh, loosen the wheel and pull it out a little bit so I can punch that cap in just a little bit so I can, so my drill, um, it clears, my, my drill can clear that cap. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to stick it here. I'm going to use tape wherever I can use tape, just in case I can. It helps to protect the powder coat finish. And in this case, in the black wheel, I can see my lines. Seems like I've got enough room. The cap is just out of the way and I can get a really good perpendicular drill direction. Whether it's steel or aluminum wheels, I always punch the center. So the uh, pressure's in the tire still. I don't, I don't mind. I'm gonna let the air push the uh, chips out of the wheel. So the drill bits I we're using I was using, I started with an eighth inch as a pilot hole, and then I went to a 5 sixteenths, and then I went to a 3 eighths, and the last bit is a 7 sixteenths. So all the air is out of the wheel now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some grease, and that will hold the chips and I just want to minimize the number of chips that go into the wheel. Not that it's going to do any damage to anything, but I just like to keep it clean. Here is my quarter pipe thread tap and we're going to tap that. This particular tap has a, a big giant square top and it's not easy to use the tap T-handle in such a confined area. so. I found that a half inch socket works with this tap here, perfectly straight. How do I know how much more to go? Well, I can look at my monster valve and I can look at the threads that are showing. And each thread is one rotation. So if I say, well, I've got three threads there. I probably have two more rotations because I want one thread 
one to one and a half threads uh, still showing. Everybody has a, seems to have a preference on sealant. Uh, mechanics all swear by certain sealants, and I, my preference is one of these two. It, they're both Loctite products. One's a 242, it's a blue, or 545, which is um, a thread sealant. Blue, I think, is a little more removable, and so that's one reason I like using 545 or uh, 242. So I want to make sure that at least one rotation of blue is showing all around um, instead of just one dot on one side. Um, that's again, that's that's what what I like to do, and to make sure that I've got plenty of sealant inside the threads. Um, so when it sets up, it seals. Now the. The tightness on th pipe thread is a very light torque. It's not a heavy torque, um, especially on these monster valves because the monster valve is aluminum and we're going into aluminum here. So um, I use just only need a short stubby ratchet and I might just give it, I don't know if you can kind of imagine how much torque I'm putting on that, but it's not a whole lot and that's it. So after that's done, um, I make sure this is all clean and feels all lubed up. I can see grease in there, and it's a it is a clear grease. It's a silicone grease, and that's the only kind of grease you want to use is a silicone grease, no um, petroleum-based grease. When I tighten this collar down, um, what I want people to remember is that there's an O-ring on the top and the O-ring on the bottom, and that's what holds the air. It's not tightening it down. If you tighten it down too too far, too too hard, you could potentially kick the collar sideways and away from an O-ring. So just know it's a two-finger down. You'll, you'll feel when it hits the bottom, that's all you have to do. You don't even actually have to hit the bottom. But once you hit the bottom, you know you're all the way down. There it there. And then I'm just going to let this set for a half hour and let it cure. Meanwhile, I'll go to the next wheels and just do exactly what I did here. about 20 minutes since we installed the monster valve I used to, uh, you know you want to wait at least 20 or 30 minutes for the glue to set or uh, Loctite so um, we're gonna check for leaks now and uh, that's as simple as just airing up the tire and looking for bubbles with standard you know uh, Windex type window cleaner or whatever you have around you can even just use water So uh, that was uh, my valve was open when I connected this, um, and uh, normally it should be off, I guess. And uh, the rest of his kit is here. This is his tire pressure gauge, and uh, so right now, obviously, it's going to be zero. And our uh, friend Sean says he likes to run uh, 27 PSI on the street with these uh, 38, 38, 13, 50, 17 um, Milestar tires. So this is a little bit larger than your 37, 12, 50. It's a really nice looking tire. It's a really nice size tire also. So we're at 27 there, just over. And um, let's see. So first, you know, I don't hear anything, so that's good. And I'm just going to spray around it. 
I'm looking for bubbles at the base, which is at the threads. I'm also looking for bubbles around the O-ring area, which is around this red collar. And then at the top core is the core uh, leaking air. Everything in this monster valve looks good. I don't see any bubbles, so this is fine. I'll just wipe it off and um, this one's done.